somebody installed this wig that I got custom made. I don't do color wigs at all, but I'm going to JT concert today. Like, that's the only reason why I'm here. I flew way to LA just to see her. If you know, you know. From the goat himself. Y'all know who be doing the wigs that be looking like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That right there. And I'm about, I'm about to go get my makeup done. So that's why I only got 10 minutes. I gotta get my makeup done at 2 o'clock. I don't do color wigs at all, but you know, my stylist be on another time than me. Like, oh, you need to do something different. <laughs> Hold on, quick, let me close my eyes. But it's gonna be real fast. Stop. <laughs> Mind your business, please. Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing something very special. We're doing a glueless install using my Erica J holding spray. Yes, it's one that guarantees a 24 hour hold, but you know it can stretch with a 48 hour hold with a little TLC. I'm working with a tight 10 minute schedule, so let's see how this holds up under pressure. I never did no shit like this before. This is going to be interesting, honestly. Ever. Now for all my beginners out there, glueless instars are a game changer. No stress, no mess. It's super beginner friendly. And I know how intimidating instars can seem at first, but trust me, you got this. And I'll be walking you through step by step. All right, so let's get into one of the most important steps, cutting the lace and applying the spray. I know a lot of people may be tempted to go all in and try to spray the entire hairline in one go, but let me tell you, it can get messy real quick, especially if you're just starting out. Even if you're more experienced, doing it all at once can be tricky because you have to move fast. The holding spray dries very quickly, so the key is to work in sections. First things first, before you even think about spraying, we need to cut the lace off. Be gentle and take your time. Cut it in a zigzag motion, follow your natural hairline, and try not to cut directly on the hairline of the wig. Once the lace is cut and we're ready for the install, this is where sectioning comes into play. Instead of spraying your entire hairline at once, which is a lot, work in smaller sections. You can start with the middle or the side, whichever feels more comfortable. But in this video, I'm gonna be starting in the middle. If you're feeling like you're nervous or feeling like you might mess up, just breathe. We're all in this together. And by the end of this video, you'll see how quick, simple, and easy it can really be. Whether you're in the time crunch or you just want to look flawless, stick with me and I got you. I always say, if you have the right tools, you can accomplish anything. And that goes for hair too. I know it can feel intimidating at first, but you don't need a professional to slay your own wig. It's about confidence, taking things step by step. And I'm here to remind you that you can do this just like I'm doing right now with only 10 minutes to spare. I really can't can't stress this enough. Working in sections is going to give you that much cleaner and precise look. Trying to do everything at once can lead to mistakes or the lace doesn't sit and lay as flat as you would want to. And if you're a beginner, this method will save you a lot of frustration. Pull the lace back and use any clips to keep hair out of your way. This part is super important because you don't want any strands of hair getting caught in the spray. Once everything is clipped back, grab your blow dryer and turn it on to the cool setting. The science behind using cool air with my holding spray is because it was designed to activate and bond at cooler temperatures. The cool air helps the spray set without making it too wet or runny. So you're going to blow dry on cool for about 25 to 35 seconds. This allows the spray to get tacky while still being flexible enough to adjust. If you use hot air at this stage, the spray might dry too fast and you can lose some of the stickiness that you need for the stronghold. Once the spray starts to get tacky, but still feels a little wet, you have two options. You can apply another layer for an extra hole, or if you're looking good, go ahead and pull the lace down into the spray. And make sure you press it firmly into place so it sticks really, really well. Now that the wig is down, here's when we switch the blow dryer from cool to warm. And the reason why is because the warm air helps the spray fully cure and harden. This solidifies the bond between the lace and the spray, making sure everything is locked into place. The heat activates the polymers in the spray, giving you that extra strength and durability. Just don't overdo it. About 15 to 20 seconds should be good enough to secure the lace in place. Always perform a patch test when you're using new products to ensure that you don't have any adverse reaction. If you encounter any issues or discomfort using any products, consider consulting with a professional hairstylist for assistance. 
If you want your hold to last even longer, especially if you're heading out for a busy day or maybe even a workout, just give your hairline a quick little touch up in the morning. With this spray, a little goes a long way. And with the right care, you're looking for a full day with zero worries. Plus, you don't have to worry about the stress of any glue removals at the end of the day. It lifts right with water. Between work, family, and everything in between, we all have those days where we just need something easy that still makes us feel like we're on top of our game. And I'm so grateful to have these products that fit into my life and make things way smoother, literally. And if you're just like me juggling a lot of different roles, you know just how important it is to find that balance. We don't need any issues when it comes down to slaying our hair. The reason why glueless installs are more beginner friendly than adhesive is because glue requires precision and if you put it in the wrong place, you might as well just give it up because you have to start all over, which can be very frustrating and time consuming. Glueless installs on the other hand offer more flexibility and you can easily adjust the wig's position before it fully sets or if you do mess up you can just use water to remove any product that you have sprayed in the wrong spot. this brush spray this whole spray on this brush i'm always frequently asked should i do glueless or use adhesive and honestly it just depends on your needs if you're looking for a quick easy install i would say go glueless but if you need something long lasting and secure adhesive is the way to go glueless installs are faster easier and better for beginners or those who are just looking for a temporary hold remember not to rush take your time and move across your hairline in parts this way you can be as neat as possible and trust me the end result will look way more professional even as a beginner plus when you're working in sections you don't have to panic about the spray drying too fast and it gives you more control over the whole process Using Erica J's holding spray is super easy and honestly, it's pretty straightforward. It's a repetitive process, but that's what makes it so simple to get the hang of. All you're gonna do is spray in sections. I'm gonna stress that, I'm gonna stress that, I'm gonna stress that. Spray in sections. Drying it with cool air and then pressing the lace down. You're going to repeat this process across your entire hairline and that's it. There's no complicated technique, no guessing game, and the steps are the same every single time, which makes it beginner friendly and fast. Even if you're a little seasoned, it don't hurt to learn something new. Once you've done that a couple times, it becomes second nature. Like I mentioned, this spray guarantees a 24 hour hold. But let me tell you, it's even stronger than you think because I went to a concert, sweated all night, slept in my makeup and wig, and guess what? The wig was still intact for the most part. And that's impressive, especially considering the fact that this spray comes off with water. What you say? <laughs> I was sweating, dancing, living my best life, and it barely lifted. So you know I'm happy about that. And when it's time to remove, it couldn't be easier. All you need is water and it comes right off, no hassle. 